Hey there, welcome to my channel and I am Harshita and in this video I am going to share some slang words to you which are very important for you if you are learning how to improve your spoken English. So first of all I want to tell you what is slang words. So generally uh, slang words generally used by native speakers and these words are informal common and most popular among the native speakers but nowadays these slangs are equally important for no native speakers so you have to know all about that if you are improving your spoken english so let's get started first of all our first slang word is our first slang word is salty it means upset and annoying if your mind is upset if you are feeling annoying and if you are not feeling well you can use the slang for this expression for example my mood is salty so please don't disturb me like this and second example is i am second example is i am salty when I heard about his plan to go America. Alright, you can use these sentences in this manner. Our second slang word is hooked. Hooked in the sense to be addicted, to be addicted something, to be addicted. Uh, let me explain. Uh, if you are if you are addicted for someone, if you are addicted for something, you can use this slang and uh, you can use this slang for example, uh, I am hooked on tea. Second example is, I am hooked on coffee. Next example is, uh, next example is, I am hooked on him. Like this. Okay. So now, move on our third slang, ghosted. It means to ignore someone and to avoid someone. Let me explain. I am giving a situation. So try to understand. Uh, for example, you are sending some messages to your friend but he is not replying your messages. He is uh, stopping, uh, just take your calls and he stop all type of communication. So you can use this expression for this situation. Example, just take some examples for elaborate that meaning. First example is he ghosted me and second example is I was ghosted you are sending messages and you are calling someone but he is not replying you alright our fourth slang word is crash crash in the sense there are two meaning of crash first one is to go informally to someone's house and second one is to take rest so there are some examples first example is some people crashed at my home yesterday it means some people came at your home without any previous information so you can use this slang in this manner and second example is uh, working after 8 hours I just crashed on my bed it means you were extremely tired and just go on your bed and sleep like this so you can use this slang word in these situations get it now move on to next slang next one is fire it means amazing and really cool just like that my friend asked me that uh, how about her party so i told that that the party was fire so you can use this slang in the situation just take an example uh, the party was fire and my party was my party was fire like this next slang word is shook shook in the sense shook in the sense scared and amazingly surprised when you are surprised to listen something and when you are scared to listen something you can use this slang and there is a there is an example to clear this meaning example example is I was shook when I heard about his plan to go America 
it means you are totally surprised when you listen to when you heard about his plan to go america so you can use this slang in this situation okay move to next slang and next slang word is spill the tea spill the tea it means to gossip for an example just take an example uh, hey come on spill the tea what happened please tell me about something like this and second example is spill the tea spill the tea right now and tell me about the party what happened in your party you can use this slang in this situation okay so move to next slang and next slang word is hang out hang out hang out in the sense to spend your time with your friends it, it is a great time it's not uh, it's not a worried it's not it's time it's a great time to spend with your friends okay so how can you construct an example just take a look he is going to hang out with us you can use this example like this okay our next slang next slang is couch potato couch potato in the sense a lazy person who wants to watch the television for long time you can use this slang for that particular person who fond of watching tv okay and he is fond of watching web series and in, and movies like this so you can use this slang for that person and how can you construct your example just take an example you can say that my friend is such a couch potato and he is fond of watching web series and he can watch the web series he can watch web series for long hours okay you can use this expression in the situation okay now last but not the least is to flex to flex in the to flex in the sense show off there are a lot of people who believe in show off so this slang is appropriate for that person and my friend bought a car my friend bought a new car and she started to flex it one more example please stop to flex your new shoes okay one more example don't don't flex don't flex your new dress you can construct these slangs in this manner so there are some examples i try to explain i try to explain there are there are some common examples to elaborate the meaning of these particular slangs so i'm giving you a task and task is if and task is you have to construct your own sentences based on these slangs and leave your and leave your sentences in my comment section okay this is your task and you have to do please if you like my video please if these slangs are useful for you please do this task and send it in my comment section and please don't forget to like my video and if this is useful for you please don't forget to subscribe it and uh, yeah bye bye and take care